Gemini, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Yes, this is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, but anywhere Gemini influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next week or so. Just apply them out. You'll see this video when it's the right time for you to see it. So, Gemini, let's get right into your oracle card reading. Remember, if it doesn't fit, don't try to squeeze it, okay? Um, Gemini, 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 Gemini. There's always going to be an extended link below. Check the description box below as well as the comments section. And you'll always find a link to the extended where I pull a full tarot card spread to extend this reading and articulate it. And then also a romance reading is included there too. All right, guys, let's get into this. Gemini, this is all about you. Oh, popping out like crazy. You got a lot to say. Let's see what your crowning energy is. Let's see what your crowning energy is. Nope. There you go. Crowning your energy is it's time to heal. This is Kundalini energy, so it could be sexual. Healing, babe. Now, it may not be because Kundalini doesn't just have to do with sex. It doesn't just have to do with sex anything, actually. Um, yeah, I mean, it does, but it's basically it's the powerhouse. It's your arsenal below your city. It's almost like think of Game of Thrones. Remember when Cersei, originally the Mad King, but then Cersei discovered all that dragon's fire beneath the city, right? It's like it was sitting there the whole time and nobody knew about it. It was like a bomb. Everybody, it was a big old bomb everybody was sitting on. That's what it was. That's what this is. It's like a big old bomb everybody is sitting on. This is like a big old bomb that you're sitting on. But the beauty of this is that it is about crashing and burning, burning it out, releasing this energy, releasing this toxic energy, releasing the poison. But you're not releasing it to poison anybody. You're releasing it to release it and get it out of your system and take control back of your own life. This is healing. It's a cathartic. It's like you're ready to let go of anything that has been um, threatening you. You're ready to let go of anything that has been just sitting there for a while, endangering your potential or your future. This is also very Mars energy, very masculine energy, very fire energy. So it's the energy of being ready. It's like you're coiled and you're ready to spring. You can feel like you're just ready to spring, maybe even ready to sink your teeth into somebody for whatever reason, we're going to get into that. But this is definitely like almost feeling a churning in your gut. If you've been feeling a churn or you feel the churning in your gut growing and growing, that's this energy. It's a recognition of discomfort and irritation and impatience and not willing to wait anymore and wanting this to just be over with. It's also setting a trap like ambush predator. You're ready to pounce. So let's figure this out and see where that takes. Let's see where that shit takes us. Um, all right, here we go. Tend to the small things. What? Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? This is about to eat. The snake is about to eat. The snake sees food. Now this is definitely ambush predator energy. You see something that you want or you see an opportunity and you're about to jump and spring on it. And I would feel very, very bad for this little mouse because snakes eat mice and that snake is coiled and about to spring now gemini i don't mean to blow up your spot here for cross watchers um this is little little things that have been needling you nagging you or needing your attention and building up over time and you've been letting them slip this is almost like a mousy person like who is, who is this person that thinks they can get one over on you this person who was basically nothing this person who was small but it's almost like they have the power of the populace behind them that kind of energy because you know where there's one mouse there's like 400 in the walls and now they're just in invading it stop they're invading I'm talking to my puppy they're invading and infesting your home and it's like how did I let this go so far how did I let this build up so much 
It don't matter because I'm about to, I'm hungry. I'm hungry and I'm about to eat. See, these people say that they can keep getting one over on me. Believe me when I say, ain't no Ricky Ticky Tabby up in here. You're not a mongoose, you're a mouse. And you don't stand a chance against me. That's kind of the energy of you're coiled and ready to spring and you're about to feast. You're about to have some mm, Thanksgiving dinner in February because it's almost like these little things think that they can get one over on you. And you're not about to let that happen. You're about to spring out and become all of yourself. You're about to show them your full potential. This is awakening, but like literally waking up, waking up out of your cocoon, popping, bursting out of your cocoon, coming out. It's like, yes, this has been building up over time. And now you're about to explode outward and show everybody your full potential and get that full acknowledgement and also be with your people or be amongst your people it could also mean that you have more than one snake in the grass waiting to spring that that the mice might think they're ahead but you actually got um but you actually got um your own people sitting there waiting but it's also about you ready to just leave all this behind too and and you'll 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 actually be happy with this outcome. I can say that to, I can say that right now. You're going to be really really happy with what this how this works out. It's almost like you have been vindicated. Um, be playful. This is very much your energy. Skip 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 it through the tulips, acting like nothing's going on. Ha! You know, it's almost like oh yeah, I was just playing. <laughs> no, that kind of energy. Um. Pretending like everything is going well. Um, or it could have been the energy of, ooh, ooh, really deceptive energy of this person. They're like a little mouse that basically like la like 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 suck like latched on to you to make themselves into something bigger and something larger and now they're like just having a good time, having a good time on your dime and on your time. Oh no, 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 no. Or you're about to be, oh, oh no, 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 no. Mm. Ooh, sweet results await. Mm -hmm. What did I tell you? You've worked hard, Gemini. You've been working your butt off. And now you're finally going, the, 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 your hard work is going to pay off. That's what this card is. And it's your central energy. And your central energy is your sense of self because this is also Leo. This is sunshine and victory and happiness and success. And for you guys, freedom and the ability to do what you want to do and live how you want to live. This is you coming back into the spotlight and being acknowledged. Um, you've worked really hard for this. Bees work hard for their honey. The honey doesn't just show up. So this is actually your hard work paying off and you're going to have reason and room to celebrate. You see, this is the energy of creation. I feel like you have defended yourself or had to defend yourself hardcore against some sort of energy. And now it's almost like it's finally being revealed. Wait, hold on. Sorry about that, guys. Oh. That was ugly. <laughs> oh, Spirit has it planned. When this card shows up backwards or upside down, it's 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 almost like, God bless Australia, things are burning down, burning it down, burning down the bridges, burning down the, um, you know, burning, burning down um, the tradition or what has been established. But I think more to the point, it is spirit saying, you lead me. I'm going to follow where you take me. I'm going to be basically like, plop this into your arms and I'm at your, I'm at your service now, uh, Gemini. So no, it's, it's not like a God complex. It's the saying of Gemini, which way to go? Where do you, where do you want this to go? But I feel like it's almost like the energy of the, of, of the universe being on board now or something that was inauthentic exposing itself. Mm. co-create with spirit spirit has a plan it's almost like no spirits waiting for your plan but you're listening to spirit to build your plan so you are you're co-creating it's also finding your voice again it's also this energy of sort of um an omen an omen coming in i don't know if you've been getting a lots of signs and synchronicities but let me say this to you right now it's almost like spirit coming in and exposing the manipulation or somebody that somebody that was manipulating you and letting you see it for what it really was um this is awakening what is it awakening make your dreams real kisses stop my puppy is tearing apart a box i'm sure you can hear it in the background and it's really frustrating me hold on 
So this is really manipulative energy, somebody pulling your strings or some, being caught in a trap. So I wouldn't be surprised if, um, oh my God, it's like somebody was pretending to be like Mother Teresa and you're finally exposing them for what they really are, the Black Widow. Seriously. Grounding your energy is a rebirth is a sure. You are going to get the acknowledgement and you're going to succeed and you're going to break free. There's a big change that's going to come. It's like you're coming out of the dark. Learn from the past. People finally getting wise and seeing the truth, seeing the wisdom. It's also, um, it's also, it's also things that happened that were sort of hidden or subverted coming and people finally realizing it and finally seeing it. And it's almost like it could also have something to do with you learning from behavioral patterns. It's, it's almost like it's finally dawned on you how this happened or how this circumstance or situation got so out of hand and be peace. This energy of spirit, once again, coming to you to help you out, to be your upper hand, to basically um, land on you and let people see the light shining on you again, that you are blessed. So this is a blessing coming from heaven and people finally seeing the truth of it all. Wow, so grounding your energy. I'm definitely going to flip the camera around. I just saw 11.11 too. I'm definitely going to flip the camera around so you can see what I'm seeing. But this is, the, this energy, elephant energy is two plus five. That's seven as well. What you're creating, um, um, what you're creating is coming out of the past. It's almost like you're like, how did I let this get so far out of hand? Because this isn't where I come from. This isn't who I am. And how did I let this get so out of hand? How did, I, how did I let this separate me from who I am? And this wonderful energy of this Mercury retrograde Pisces. And it's like it's bringing everything back to you about who you are. So how did the snake get in your world? How did this person take advantage of you and trick you to begin with? Well, it's part of, partially your ego, you accepting the truth of it, you're, accept, you're accepting the responsibility for how and why you let this into your life is part of getting it out of your life. When you recognize the infestation is when you can do something about it. And, and that's what you're doing. It's like, it's like you're waking up, you, you've awakened and now you're, you're lighter than you've been in a while, but you're also not playing around. You, you may just be pretending like everything is okay on the surface, but underneath it all, you're awakening to the truth about this situation and you're just waiting for the perfect time to spring and, and, and grab into somebody. You're just going to let them come right to you. Yeah, you're like, come to me, baby. Come right to me. Hold on. Let me flip the camera and go around. You've awakened because this is your central energy of happiness and abundance and realizing your self-worth again. And this is definitely, um, this. it's interesting that they're sitting right next to each other. Co-create with spirit and spirit has a plan, but spirit doesn't have a plan. You're guiding spirit. Spirit is listening to you. It's asking you to talk, Gemini, which is interesting because you're doing a, during a retrograde. It's like spirit wants a review of everything that you've learned and recognized and wants to know. Wants to be sure that the truth has sort of dawned on you. Seeing your way through the dark by using wisdom that you've learned in the past, you're coming back into yourself. I feel like there was a divergence between the you that you are now and the you that you were for maybe the last couple of years and the you that you were before then. It's almost like, it's almost like um, um, you div diverted, your path got diverted, like who you were got diverted and like you were becoming somebody else or weren't behaving like yourself or you were trying new things and it just it just wasn't you you were you were moving away from yourself and there was this energy that was really manipulative and digging its claws in and taking advantage of that so that they could build themselves up through you having a grand old time on your all your hard work and now you were just like drop the bomb you're like nope no more of that. I see what's going on. And you've been irritated for a while. It's like, how did this get so far? 
How did this get out of my hands, out of my control? And lead to the point where I just feel completely disconnected from everything that I am. And all of it's coming back. It's all coming back to you now. Who you were, what your possibilities are, what your capabilities are, your potential. There's still this healing. Maybe even in some ways you're returning back to your family, you're going home, or you're going back to a place where you can be more sincerely yourself. Hold on. There's an overwhelming sense of peace with yourself. That yeah, you get it. And it's almost like I've, I've owned... I can own my mistakes. I know how I got here and I know part of how I got here is because I screwed up. But simultaneously, I forgive myself. I know that, like, I, I forgive myself. I accept who I am. And that by letting go of this past, no, no, not by letting go, by learning from this past, I'm actually letting go of the emotional burden of it. And I'm enabling myself with the information that I need to get back to this place where I'm happy and healthy again. Not, not messing around or BSing or allowing petty things to be too much to me or to change me into what works for them. So I'm like this puppet on a string. No more of that. I'm finding my own voice again. Let's go over to the extended. I'm going to pull a full tarot card reading as well as a romance reading, Gemini. Let's see what the tarot cards have to articulate. I'll see you guys over there. <laughs> 